Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amona Project. We here at the Amona Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, information, guidance, advice, and I'm going to continue um, with the idea of how uh, charity, giving to the needy, helping the poor um, benefits us. Uh, in a previous video, I said about how it saves a life. Rabbi Akiva says that uh, uh, tzedakah, giving charity, is a way to save our life from future uh, punishment after uh, after death, and um, and the the Tanakh says the, the the Hebrew scripture says in the book of Proverbs, um, chapter ten, verses one and verse two, charity, also translated as righteousness, uh, saves from death. I want to look uh, at uh, at another angle towards the benefit of, uh, of being charitable and helping the needy. Um, we were saying how it uh, develops a sensitivity uh, to those uh, less fortunate than we are. Um, but this shouldn't be motivated purely by um, a sense of compassion, purely by the fact that you feel sorry for this poor person is sleeping in a doorway, he has no money, he's begging, he's uh, whatever. We have an injunction to emulate Hashem, to be like God. Um, imitato Dei, as I would have said in my very early years. In Hebrew, Mahu Rachum, Af Ato Rachum. As God is compassionate, as He is compassionate, so too you be compassionate, you be merciful. Um, that should be the overriding um, force that evokes our sensitivity. Um, Hashem's uh, mercy, His uh, compassion, isn't based on emotions and on sentimentality the way perhaps ours is. Um, we need to be stirred by the words of God, the words of the Torah. And the Torah compels us, commands us to be sensitive, uh, uh, to have compassion, to help the needy, to, to, to feed the poor, to clothe the naked, to, 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 to fight for the widow, to fight for the orphan. And um, in this sensitivity, we perhaps can share get a little glimpse, a little insight um, into uh, their pain, their suffering, their anguish. We need to, to connect on that level. It makes us literally better people. Um, compassion that results from a human physical inspiration without deeper recognition that it's the Torah's command denigrates and subordinates the neshama, your soul, your spirit. Um, subordinate to the physical counterpart, the body. You're doing it because for some reason you're feeling this 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 tug of of uh, of guilt uh, of compassion. You feel sorry for it the way you feel sorry for it. So somebody kicked a puppy. I mean like Do it because not only are you obeying the word of God, but by so doing, you're emulating, emulating Hashem. You're being a bit like God in that God takes care of the needy in his own way. We, we say in our prayers, um, thank God who has provided us uh, with our every need. We, we dive in every morning uh, in, in the morning prayers. We bless God for providing us uh, with our every need. Um, I'm reminded of the story of the, the Chassid who was very, very poor. It, 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 uh, I'm tempted to say that, uh, 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 that it was a famous uh, uh, poor uh, Chassid guy that we've spoken about very often, but it wasn't, it, it wasn't uh, Reb Zusha Vanapol. It was someone else. And someone came to him and said, how can you, how can you say those words? 
uh, that God's provided us, uh, provided you with every need. He's given you nothing. You've got nothing. You're either dressed in rags. You've got no money. You have no food. You've got nothing. How could God have provided you with your every need? And the, and the, and the, the chassid, the, the Rebbe, replied, God looked at me. He looked at my needs. And he obviously thought that what I needed was devastating poverty. And he supplied me with it. He provided me with poverty in abundance. When we see people who are less well off than we are, when we see people who are in need, and some people are living in grinding poverty, yes, we feel some compassion. If you have a spark of humanity, you feel compassion. But also, let us be godlike. Do it because God said. Not a very satisfying answer when somebody says, Why are you doing this? God said. How are you wearing tzitzis? God said. Why are you wearing tefillin? God said. What's that mezuzah in your door? Why are you doing that? God said. But the bottom line often is because God commanded. Not only has God commanded, but by doing so, we become more like the person that he expects us to be. That spark, not only that spark from God, but that spark of God, that spark of God that we contain um, within us. Let's, uh, let's kindle that spark. Let's, uh, let's give that a little, uh, a little more fuel. And in so doing, we will be better people. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope you're finding them of, uh, of some use. I hope you're finding them inspiring. And until next time, on behalf of the Imuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.